This is my daughter, Maylee. She has been working for years to be the best gymnast possible, and today is the biggest day of her life. She will be competing against top gymnasts to try to win her first medal at state championships. But at the most important moments, critical mistakes threaten to shatter her dreams. Will she overcome them and win the medal she's been working so hard for? Good morning, Maylee. It is super early in the morning and today is a big day. We are not used to waking up this early. It's dark outside, everyone else is sleeping. Our last gymnastics meet. Our last gymnastics meet. And it's a big one. It's a state competition. So everyone in the state is gonna be there. So we have to hurry because we woke up late, okay. yeah. This might be the worst possible day for us to wake up late, and I was really worried it would add even more anxiety to an already tense and nervous girl. And Melee's really bugging me because we wanna do her hair, and we're gonna do a little morning routine real quick before we go compete. I'm thinking my two braids going to a braid bud. Funny enough, I'm not very good at doing hair. I have four girls, so you're probably better learn. And Maylee is the first one that has made me learn how to do hair. It's a 30 minute drive, so we have to leave at like seven. And it snowed last night, so that's gonna make the rows even slower. We're gonna have to leave even earlier. Maylee gets really nervous about being late. Being late, even if it's like just practice. So we got our gel, our sexy hairstyle gel. Really extra holding gel. Just so it doesn't come out. And why do you have to do that? Why? If you fix your hair during the routine, then they take away some points. We don't want points taken away, do we? Yeah. You said you were hungry, so you ate breakfast. Just bread. Just bread? Mm -hmm. That's all you ate for breakfast? Yeah. <laughs> is that going to get you through this gymnastics competition? Yes. Bread is good. Grunies, comment down below what your favorite breakfast would be before a very big day. I just, I didn't have enough time to like, I was gonna cook grilled cheese, but I didn't have time, so good thing I didn't. So now I'm wrapping it together. It's time. We gotta go. Told you he was the other one that gets super nervous about being late. I'll be waiting. I'll be in the car. <laughs> I was trying to keep calm for the worriers around me, but I was secretly nervous. Doing her hair was taking way too long, and the snow on the roads might slow us down even more. Or then we do the bun? Yep. Okay. So now? I just don't know how big the gym is. That's what I'm scared of. I don't know if it's as big as the other ones, but it's state, so. And now, you're going to wrap it up in a bun. Be super tight. One, one more thing. Your spray. Lots of hairspray, just to make sure it stays. Let's check it out. Beautiful. It's time for us to leave. So, we're already late. It's past seven o'clock. There's a lot of snow outside. Let's hurry. We're in the car, Maylee, and we are about Wait. 10 minutes late. But oh, we're going. The roads don't look too bad. They look pretty clear. But we're here, we're on our way. Are you nervous we're gonna be late? Yeah, we're nervous. Are you? I really didn't want her nerves from being late to affect her performance, so I decided to start a little dance party to hopefully lift her spirits. Dance party, Maylee! because of me. Because <laughs> oh. I am an expert at driving. 10 minutes early. We made it on time. A temporary relief of stress. Oh my gosh, this is gigantic. Until we got inside. So seeing how big it is, does that make you more nervous or less nervous? Both. Or just the same? Same. Same? <laughs> well, you're just a pro now. State <laughs> gymnastics competition. Yes. Last I've been one. waiting for. Your last one. Your final one, the moment of truth. Are you ready for this? Yeah. Super good. She's gonna do awesome. Can't wait. Good luck. She always like looks for us. See you. Love you. That's like what she does is like you and at home, and when she's doing something, she like has to make sure we're watching. And so she does that with gymnastics sometimes, like when she and she loses focus. So I told her to stay focused. What? All right, Haley, I have some special oil for you to help you if you're nervous. You ready for this? Yeah. As I watched her prepare, she looked confident and happy. Hopefully, this would be an indication of things to come. I'm a bit nervous for her today. What? I don't know, it's like just as bad as the first gymnastics meet that she went in. You're not nervous at all? No, so I think she'll be fine. I'm so nervous for her, I might need to use some of this oil myself.
Brian is super nervous. Maylee's scores weren't as high as she's gotten in previous competitions, and we really hope this wouldn't ruin her chances at placing on the podium. So apparently, as the year progresses and it's the end of the year, judges get harder and score them harder. Great job, ladies. Salute. Eighth place from Arches, Maylee Carr. Gymnast salute. What a tie for sixth place from Arches, Maylee Carr, and from Gym Cats, Molly Robinson. Fourth place from Olympus, Lily Cottom. Congratulations, girls. Salute. Second place from Arches, Maylee Carr. Third place from Arches, Haley Carr. Oh, it's so good. It's so awesome. Fourth overall. <laughs> what? She did awesome. It was amazing. I'm sad this is my last year. You are? Next year I'll have some more stuff. Next year. That is sad. He worked so hard and it all paid off. Now, what are we doing? We're gonna go eat. Let's go eat. <laughs> so, Maylee, are you happy with how you did? Yeah. Completely and totally, or do you wish you'd done better? I wish you'd done a little bit better for first place, but I'm so Well, maybe next year, right? Maylee placed second on floor and fourth overall. Even though she didn't place first like she wanted, we are so proud of all the effort and hard work she has put in on her first year of team.